Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll guide you step by step on setting up your Python environment and writing your very first Python code. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so that you never miss out on our latest tech tutorials. So let's get started. So first up, let's install Python on your Windows machine. We'll be downloading Python from the official website so that basically to ensure you get the latest and the most secure version. So now open your preferred web browser. In this case, I'm, I have opened uh, Google Chrome and go to python.org. So just type in python.org and click on it. Once you are here, hover over the downloads tab. The website typically detects your operating system automatically. But since we are focusing on Windows, Let's ensure it is set correctly. So I'll just click on Windows and I can see the releases for Windows that are here, right? So I have Windows 11 or 10, doesn't really matter. So I can see the releases in the stable release section. So click the uh, click on the download Python version 3.1.1.10 and uh, you can just click on. So we can see, see under the Python releases for Windows tab, the stable releases are mentioned over here, right? So there are a lot of different versions, 3.11.10, 3.12.6, right? So uh, since my device is a 64-bit, I'll click on download Windows installer 64-bit. So this will download the Python installer to your computer. So once the download is complete, navigate to your downloads folder and locate the installer file. So this will open the setup file for, for the Python. Now, one thing is that before we proceed with the installation, there is a crucial step. Here you can see add python.exe to path. Make sure that is clicked up. This allows you to run Python from the command line without any issues, right? Next, click on the install now and the installer will begin setting up Python on your system. So this process might take a few minutes. So hold on to that. So once the installation is complete, you will see a setup success screen. Click close to finish the installation. Great. Now let's verify that Python is installed correctly or not. Press the Windows key, type cmd and press enter to open the command prompt. So now once the command prompt is open, type in python space double dash version and press enter. So here you can see you could see something like python 3.12.6 displayed so if you do congratulations python is successfully installed in your windows machine so now that python is installed the next step for us is to set up your development environment okay so we'll use jupyter notebook for our tutorial purpose so it's a popular tool for writing and running python code in an interactive environment first we'll install jupyter notebook using pip that is uh, python's package installer so open your command prompt close this one just open it again just write cmd open it again and uh, make sure that you are in your desired repository for me it is users madhur singh so uh, in this one you need to create a new uh, project directory if you want i'll just continue with this one so uh, just write here uh, pip install notebook and press enter so now you can see that it is downloading the jupyter notebook over here so now you can see that the jupyter notebook is installed so in order to open the jupyter notebook you can type in so now all the python files are downloaded the jupyter notebook is finally downloaded and uh, we can open the jupyter notebook using uh, the command jupyter notebook so i'll write here jupyter notebook and press enter so the command will open Jupyter Notebook in your default web browser. You will see the Jupyter interface which allows you to create and manage your notebook. So it is loading right now but you will get to see that. So you can see your it is connected to your local host and all the files that are there are here, right? So using this new you can set up a new Python uh, notebook. You can set it up. So your new Python notebook would be generated here. Here you can change the name of the file. So I'll write here first, uh, let's write Python first project. Python first project, okay, and rename. So uh, setting up a virtual environment is a best practice in Python development. So basically it helps manage project specific dependencies and keep your global Python installation clean. 
so uh, again the first task is to create a new folder for your uh, python project so if you want to do that you can uh, create a new folder over here so you can create a new folder i'll just write again i'll write python first notebook or project right project and it will be created okay you can also uh, select the file or the location of this file from the command window and the command prompt as well right you can navigate to this folder as well so now let's uh, set up a virtual environment so setting up a virtual environment is a best practice in python development it helps manage project specific dependencies and keeps your global python installation clean so what we'll do first is create a new folder in your uh, python project you can name it python first project that we already did so we can navigate to this folder through our uh, command prompt or we can directly go uh, to the jupyter notebook and do it right so i'll type here command cmd and press enter so the first thing is to now create a virtual environment okay so we can do that by typing the following command so we'll write python dash m virtual environment v e n v then we'll write e n v okay and press enter so this command creates a new virtual environment named e n v inside your project folder to activate it we need to write e n v backslash script s c r i p t s because that's the folder it will be created automatically by uh, when we install the jupyter notebook then again backslash activate press enter so after running this command uh, you should see in brackets env appear before your command prompt indicating that the virtual environment is now active so with our virtual environment active so any python packages we install will be contained within this environment ensuring that the project is isolated right so uh, now let's write our first python script using jupyter notebook uh, we'll create a simple hello world program so it is a traditional first step in learning any programming language you might have heard it a lot of times hello world is a very very famous first code that you write when you download jupyter or any other language that you want to learn so open jupyter notebook by typing uh, the command jupyter notebook so i'll write here j u p y t e r notebook and press enter so now as we can see that again our local host is connected jupyter is here now we mentioned about the python first project so we'll click on that particular new notebook that we have or what you can do is you can directly go in the home tab under the new section you can directly open a new file from this you can also add a new folder right so as mentioned we'll be writing our first python program so what we'll do is we'll write the command print okay then we'll give open brackets then inverted commas we'll write hello world exclamation mark double quotes brackets closed and to run the command uh, or to run your script simply simply you can click on the run tab over here that is here or you can just press shift and enter okay shift plus enter while the cell is selected okay so you should see now that the hello world is printed below the cell congratulations you have just written and executed your first python program using jupyter notebook so now let's take a moment to understand what's happening in our hello world script so the print function that you can see over here is one of the most basic and commonly used functions in python so it tells python interpreter to display the text inside the parenthesis quotes in this case it prints hello world to the output cell so this simple exercise demonstrate how to write and execute your python code laying the foundation for more complex programming tasks that we are going to do ahead okay so this is just the basic one you can uh, try it out yourself you can write other things right i can write uh, my name is madhur right saying inverted commas close brackets press shift plus enter and this will be executed and written below right so now that you have written your first program let's enhance it by making it more interactive we'll modify our script to take the user input and respond accordingly right so now uh, let's just write a code name equal to let's say input brackets inverted commas what is your name right question mark inverted brackets closed and so now here we entered the input command so i can write here madhur singh okay 
so this is the input that i am giving right so now we have written over here now we can write print if that is the output hello the we'll use the inverted parenthesis and we'll write the name that was the input the name here so the the same we, we cannot change the even the uh, capped letters or uncapped letters okay so as it is how you have stored now this input value is stored in this particular name tab so in this you can just write name again closed i just want an explanation as well then inverted commas and enter shift and enter so now we we'll just execute it so it will come as hello madhur singh so once i execute this it will just come as hello madhur singh because that the the name that we input over here was stored in name and name is what we wanted to print at the end so it came as hello because this is what we wrote comma my name that i input over here exclamation mark and that's how it came so here we have introduced two new concepts variable and user inputs okay so now you can run it again uh, run the cell again by clicking the run button or pressing shift plus enter so you will basically be prompted with what's your name type your name and enter it right so that's exactly what we did so now the python takes the input you provide okay so here is the input that i provided and it incorporates it into the greeting that i have written at the end right so this is the foundation for building the more interactive and dynamic programs from this particular code i just wanted to tell you that python is very very interactive how we put the code is what matters at the end right so it is not a very uh, very very uh, basic thing that uh, you can do just printing of stuffs you can also let the user input a lot of different things okay just as i showed you over here that you can input it right you can write anything alex let's say you press enter so in this case you just have to press enter shift enter you don't have to because it's this the this one is also an input so it will also act as the same code so you can just put enter over here again this will change now if i want to change this shift plus enter it will come as alex right so you can try out different variations of it the thing what input does and one print does we'll learn in the next or the upcoming videos that we'll delve in deep what are variables what are functions all that we'll will tell in depth right for now you just have to see how the python code works so uh, before we wrap up here are a few tips and tricks best practices to help you uh, as you continue your python journey forward so the first one is always keep your code organized so use meaningful variable names and comment on your code to make it easier to understand organized code is always easier to maintain and debug remember that carefully second is uh, practice regularly there is uh, no way around hard work so the more you code the more comfortable you will become with the python syntax and features right we will discuss about the syntax and uh, features in the upcoming videos but uh, for now make make your mindset around that that you have to practice regularly try to write code every other day even if it is a if it is a very small script just keep writing keep practicing then comes uh, utilize your resources uh, there are countless tutorials forums right so for example this one so make sure that you are organized if you have any doubts put them in the comments below and we'll be more than happy to answer to all your queries right so make sure that you are heavily engaged when you are doing this tutorial and uh, then explore various libraries i have not touched upon what library is but uh, uh, python has a very rich ecosystem right there are a lot of libraries in play the primary ones that you will be uh, doing in this course is numpy pandas matplotlib so these are the three main libraries that you would be working in maybe plotly i'm not sure for data visualization but we'll see around that matplotlib does the same thing anyways so we'll explore a lot of libraries going uh, in this tutorial also the version control learn to use version control systems like git it helps track changes in your code and collaborate with others more effectively so uh, github is what you would have heard of you can always track and manage your code there but uh, as you are starting out right now you do not need any of the extra things just focus on your jupyter notebook i am sure that you have installed uh, this jupyter notebook with me in this video and uh, going forward we'll do all our codes in jupyter notebook itself right so yeah 
So if you're learning to code, you're probably someone who wants to be the master of tech world. Join our job link data science and AI advanced bootcamp at Upgrad and gain the skills employers are looking for. With a practical industry aligned curriculum and hands on project, you'll not only learn from seasoned experts, but also apply your knowledge to real world scenarios. Don't miss out. Click the link in the description to start your data science journey today. And that's a wrap on setting up your Python environment on Windows and writing your very first Python code using Jupyter Notebook. You've taken the first step into the vast world of programming and that's something to be proud of. Remember, learning to code is a journey and every expert was once a beginner. We believe that every individual has a unique path to success and sometimes all it takes is a little guidance to unlock your full potential. Our expert career advisors are ready to help you discover the path that's perfect for you. Don't miss out on the chance to invest in your future. Click the link in the description below to book your free counseling session now and let's start building the career you've always dreamed of. In the next video, we shall be talking about the basics of how Python code gets executed and the steps involved. Until then, stay tuned to Upgrad.